Hello, today I'm going to show you the simplest way to create a PHP document for forms using a simple PHP script using my proven techniques. This is simple, straightforward. The form will have a lot of flexibility. We're going to apply HTML5, CSS3 uh, code to it. So let's get started. Now, important step here in HTML5, every time I make a new file, file new by default i have html x html transitional i don't want to have to select html5 every time i want to make an html5 document so here's how we can solve this problem if you go to your preferences preferences window preferences mac preferences and select new document category new document we consider the default page to be an html5 page so if I hit OK, if I had File, New, New File, Command N, Macintosh, Control N for Windows, our HTML5 document is all set up. So in today's class, we're going to make an HTML5 PHP document. Here's my PHP document. If you go to Code View, the only thing that's different, this is an HTML5 document, but it's going to be a PHP extension here. So we're just going to save the file, File, Save. We're going to put it inside of our forms folder and just call it my PHP form. Now, good app to get into titling the page. So call this contact us. Okay, now the only palette we have here is the CSS palette over here. Right now, we have no CSS because basically we have no content. So very important step here, guys. Anytime you're sending information through a form, it has to be in a form container. So as an example, for PHP, for MySQL, for database stuff, if you're sending, deleting, updating, searching, it has to be inside of a form. So the first thing we're going to do for this page is go to the Insert menu, Insert Form, and select Form. Now, very important step here, the red box basically sets up the form for our content. So I'm gonna go and give this form by selecting the tag, I'm gonna give the form an ID. So I'm gonna call it contact us, camel case, contact us. Make a change, save a change. Okay, now the content that goes inside the form, I have to click inside the form, make sure code view that the content goes inside the form. Basically between here, these open, close, closing form. Command Z does that. Okay, so we're gonna get started very simply by having a simple form. We're gonna have a subject line, name, first name, last name, email and comments so we're going to type in subject colon now what i like to do here is first of all we're going to put this content inside of a container called field set so before we go any further i'm going to select this content double click i'm going to select it here inside of contact this form select this in command T command and T quick tag editor command T Macintosh control T for Windows we're gonna type in field set F I E L F I E L T set so it appears right there the return key once twice so what that does for us field set is basically a container for forms right now the only thing that's inside of here is subject so we're gonna under its subject we're gonna hit the shift return shift return is a new line not a new paragraph new lines we're gonna shift return we go to insert form and select text field we're going to call the text field what it is, which is subject. Okay, now important step here. I don't want to have to do that a gazillion times, so I have a couple of choices here. I can copy and paste from here, or I can go to code view, and copy and paste from here. Whatever feels easier here. So 
let's make it the simple, simple way by copying and pasting right from here. So I'm going to copy, return key, paste. That's first name, return key, paste. That's going to be last name, return key, paste. That's going to be email address, return key, paste. That's going to be comments. Make a change, save a change. Now, we have a container called field set, field set. We're going to select the tag in the bottom left hand corner, select the tag and make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. Field set is an HTML tag. HTML tag is inside the ID tag called form contact us. So we're going to hit okay. Now we're going to set the default value for our field set. Think of a field set as a div container, but it's not a div container. It's a field set container for use inside of forms. We're going to go up here and say Tacoma uh, 14 pixels and capitalize. We could go to box, box. We're going to make this 300 pixels wide. We're going to give this 12 pixels of padding. We're going to drop it from the top. Let's drop it from the top 10 pixels and let's put it in the center automatically to the right, automatically to the left. So right now we have a field set. Now we don't have a border here. So border, border, solid, one pixel of blue. So there's our form elements. Now important step here, we don't have a submit button. So I'm gonna return key, turn key, insert form button, okay? We're not going to give this button an ID. We're just going to hit OK. Now, I don't want this to say submit. I want this to say what it's going to be, which is contact us. So in the value section, we're simply going to type in contact us. Make a change. Save a change. Now, very important step here. These form elements by default, this one's called subject. So let's, let's look at the code for a second. I try to stay away from code when I'm teaching you, but I just want you to understand some basic information here. So these subject, these, these form IDs need to be unique. So by default, Dreamweaver called it subject two, subject three, subject four, subject five. That's not what we want to call this. This is going to be called first name as in F-I-R-S-T. We're going to double click, copy, double click, paste, double click, paste. This one is last, L-A-S-T, copy, double click, copy, paste, paste. This will be called email, copy, paste, paste. This is called comments or questions. We'll call it comments. Copy, paste, paste. Now, important step here. Yes, I could have done that from design mode by going to the property palette down here. But unfortunately, sometimes this is kind of buggy, a little strange inside of Dreamweaver. Sometimes it, you have to do it a couple of times. I found out it's much simpler to do this in code, but if you feel more comfortable, you can just select and change it from down here. So just select the field and change it here. So this is subject, this is first name. So I can just, now I could have, basically, I could have done that when I was in here, so I could do subject. So let's actually do it from here. So I could say first copy, paste, last copy, paste, email copy, paste, comments copy, paste. Back to design mode. So there's our form set up. Subject, first, last, email, comments. Now comments is going to be a text area. So we can select the field, down here to the property palette to multiple line, and let's make this four lines. So type it four, turn. Make a change, save a change. Okay. Now, 
These appear here. These are just paragraph bricks. I'm sorry. These are line bricks. They appear because they're not going to print. If I get a live view, we'll see that they don't print. Okay, this is a container box. Okay, so those are under invisible right here. So if you go to invisible, I like to see all my invisible elements. Now, if you don't want to see them on the fly, you could click right here and hide visible aids. That's going to hide visible aids. You can do that temporarily. I like to see them. Okay, make a change, save a change. Now, what we want to do here. This is the contact us form. So I'm going to show you a really cool technique here. I'm going to put my cursor right here and I'm going to type in contact lowercase. Now it's coming up initial cap because that's how I set up the field right here. That's how I set up the field sets. I'm going to type in contact space us and hit the return key. So this is a separate paragraph. Now I want to use an HTML tag called legend legend basically outlines the field set with a title so here's how it works i select paragraph so right now it's just the paragraph i select p for paragraph it command t command t for quick tag editor command t and i'm going to type it i'm going to replace the paragraph with leg legend just start typing it and it appears right here hit the return key now, I have a legend tag, but I don't have a legend rule. So, just like all my other videos, select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, come over here, and make a new CSS rule. We're going to make a rule for a legend, which is inside the field set, which is part of the form called contact us. So, I hit OK. So, I want this to be this brown color here. And I want this to be 22 pixels, and I want it to be, what's this, that, so contact us. <coughs> Excuse me. So contact us. Now, because it's a legend, this is what it does for us. If I go to live view, See, is that cool or what? It puts inside around the field set container. It makes it the back line line of the field set container. It makes your forms look very professional. How cool is that? I'm going to double click field set here, and I'm just going to drop this down a little bit. I'm going to drop this down, say another 10 pixels. I'm going to say plus 10. So if I go to a lot view, there's my form. Form's starting to look good here. Okay, so let's basically do some more CSS styling. We're going to select this tag. This is the input tag named button. Now, if you want to call the button, we're going to come down here and call the button send it. Okay, so we're going to select the tag, select the tag, and make a rule. We're going to make a rule for send it when it's inside a paragraph, when it's part of field set, when it's inside the contact us form. So we're simply going to make this the same color. We're going to make this a white type with a background color. I could sample the same exact color here and give this a box padding of 12 pixels. So how cool is that? Now, in addition to this, we're going to do some other format. We're going to do some rounded corners for our field set. So right now, if I go to live view, my box looks like this. We want our box to be different. So I'm going to double click field set to adjust the existing field set rule. I just want to drop this down another more, say another plus 12 pixels. So it drops down from the top. Now, the simplest way to get this field to a rounded corner in CSS 5.5, 5.5 supports HTML5 with the HTML5 interface. So I go to add property, I click right here and I type in P-O-R-D-E-R hyphen radius. Okay, simplest way to do that. Let's repeat that. Let's get rid of that. Z, Z undoes. I select add property. 
I click right here and I type B-O-R-D-E-R hyphen R for button radius. I'm gonna click right here and get, get this 18 pixels of radius corner. Now you can't see this until you go to either publish this inside of the server or go to live view. So now our forum is starting to look professional and nice. We'll continue on. This is basically video one. I'll be posting other videos throughout the day.